Hey everyone, it's Erica. How are you doing? So I know a lot of us are still cooped up in many ways, but enjoying walking um, and I have been doing so myself and the reason I want to make this video is because uh, on my walks I found a lot of disposable face masks uh, which many people use out here um, have been littered and they are not biodegradable. They will go into the ocean and kill sea life. Um, and birds and um, it kind of got me thinking I started using the app again a little bit and I noticed a ton of cigarette butts which I will go into but I just wanted to share this app with you because it's used in a hundred countries available in English so I thought it'd be fun for you guys to try it as well it's called Pirika and it is a social media app for picking up litter how it works is you come across a piece of litter take a picture of it upload it onto the app um, dispose of it properly yourself please and instead of likes other users will send you thanks <laughs> so it makes it a really fun way to pick up litter this is not a sponsored video by the way I have been um, intending to make this video for a long time and recently I was also involved in a project where I found out a lot more about microplastics so and then given the quarantine situation I thought it would be a great time to make this. Initially I was just going to make this video introducing the app you know you guys can go pick up litter yourself but as you'll see on my trip to actually film this video I found cigarette butts everywhere and this is in Tokyo which is comparatively a clean city upon first glance you can't really see that much litter but when you start looking and you will find this yourself when you start looking the cigarette butts are absolutely everywhere amongst other rubbish as well obviously but overwhelmingly cigarette butts are everywhere and uh, on this project I learned that cigarette butts are a lot more damaging than we might think I used to think so myself, but I think many people think that they are biodegradable when they actually contain plastic. Yes, that's right, cigarettes are a single-use plastic. So every time someone litters, it will go into the oceans, through the rivers, and it will break into tiny particles called microplastics, which will be ingested by fish and birds, and that's going to be affecting our health as well. Not only that, so that uh, applies to all plastics basically that will go into the oceans, but cigarettes are especially concerning because they leach toxic pollutants which can remain for decades. So it's an especially harmful piece of litter yet so socially accepted, which got me thinking. So why is plastic in the ocean a problem in the first place? By 2050, it's predicted that there will be more plastic in the oceans than fish, and it's leading to scenes like this. Fish and birds cannot tell apart the plastic from food, they will ingest it, and it is killing them, affecting the ecosystem. I watched a documentary recently on Netflix called A Plastic Ocean, and there you can see really uh, alarming examples of this. They cut open birds living by the seaside who have died from ingesting plastic. They cut open their bellies and it's just chock full of really colorful pieces of plastic, some of it not even that small. So it's really really shocking. It's affecting whales, turtles, and it's not just animals, it's affecting human health as well. It is thought to cause adverse effects on fertility, cause developmental problems, nerve damage, hearing loss, the list goes on. So it really got me thinking, why is it that when we see someone littering after a picnic or whatever, we would feel offended and would call them out probably. But when someone's smoking a cigarette, no one cares. And for me, it was ignorance. I didn't know until a few months ago that cigarette filters are not biodegradable, essentially making the cigarette a single-use plastic, which is so freely littered. And so now that you know, please spread the word. If you do smoke, try and stop, obviously, but uh, don't litter. Don't be a douchebag. <laughs> it's just surprising because, you know, Japan, there's a culture of using portable ashtrays. Littering is generally frowned upon. The streets are 
quite clean, but there's, they were still absolutely everywhere. So let's get to it. Let's see how much rubbish I found, how many of those are cigarette butts in my one hour of cleaning up litter. Today I'm in the Shibuya area. I'm going to Shibuya to run some errands. So I thought it'd be the perfect time to show you guys how this picking up rubbish on social media app works. I've just been walking along here. It's a relatively clean street, but I've just come across this cigarette butt. So I have tongs with me um, and a bag of rubbish on my own. Also, it's a good idea to have hand sanitizer if you have. And now what I'm going to do is take a picture of it and upload it onto the app called Pirika. I've just sat down on this bench outside and sure enough, by my feet there's quite a lot of cigarettes. Hashtag Parliament. On first glance, this would be a really clean street. So once you start looking for them, it's actually surprising that there are so many cigarette butts. But I just found my non-plastic uh, rubbish, which looks like some kind of sticker. So I'm gonna pick that up as well. I have uh, come across a plastic bottle, which can be recycled. So I'm gonna put that into a separate bag. This is right by Shibuya River. Um, this is so depressing. You're not gonna lie, a little bit proud of that, but it shouldn't have to be like that in the first place, you know what I mean? This is frankly depressing. Um, from just finding all of that, walking just 20 meters. So for my post earlier, people have started to thank it. Thank you for thanking me, yay! Time to keep moving, I guess. I've come across a wrapper for some kind of uh, cigarette paraphernalia has been littered so I'll pick that up too. Here's another cigarette butt in front of me. People are gross, honestly. I literally cannot keep up with the number of cigarette butts. They are absolutely everywhere. And then the next thing is like food wrapping, plastic food wrapping for cakes and rice balls and stuff. I've seen quite a few of those. Something really nice just happened. I was picking up rubbish and um, some guy who I don't know came up to me and I was like, thank you, um, which is really nice. Some like tape. You get like wet wipes with every single meal and takeout in Japan, so this is a huge offender. It's hard to pick up. So that was a beer can. By all means, drink and have fun and be merry, but don't be a Douchebag. It's kind of a joke that there's so many everywhere you look. Look at that. Uh, fried chicken wrapper. relevant and important right now, don't want to get too close to it, but that is a used face mask. They are not biodegradable. Um, since the corona, I've been seeing so many everywhere. They do not biodegrade. They go into the ocean and will kill sea life and probably have an adverse effect on us as well. Please, please be careful. Don't litter them and look after yourselves at the same time. So my bag is getting full, I'm gonna stop soon. But this is what I gathered in just over an hour. 
it was overwhelmingly um, cigarette butts. It looks like different things because the other waste, like McDonald's wrapper, is uh, a lot bigger. So next came food waste, and then uh, ran food waste as in food packaging, plastic packaging, and then um, random plastic wrappers for things. So what I want to do now is I kind of um, wasn't posting each thing by the end because there was just simply so much rubbish. But I'm gonna post one big one at the end here. So I'm gonna take a picture of this bag and post it to Kirika. Oh, and look, these are the thanks I got earlier from people. It does kind of make it fun. You get feedback, you get a notification of other people thanking you for the effort you've put in, trying to keep everything clean. But yeah, please have a think about littering and have a look out where you live because you will find stuff, unfortunately. This is what I'll put into recycling, the can and the two plastic bottles. So what did you think, guys? My message here was to spread the word about Pirika, the app, making picking up litter fun, which is a very cool concept, and to also ultimately spread the word about cigarette butts being a single-use plastic, which are destroying the oceans, sea life, and is affecting human health as well. If you do smoke, there has never been a better time to quit now that you know all this information. It's not just about you anymore, it's affecting the planet other humans, other animals, and at the very least, please, please don't litter. Of course, this applies to all other plastic waste as well. We all need to try and reduce, I need to do better, I think we all can do better. Please let me know what you think, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!